Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Atmanen from the Miles Square Health Center. I'm the dental director here, and I'm joined by Latasha Tucker, our lead dental assistant, and Mike Young, one of our recent dental assistants. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our dental assisting training program and what it uh, what is necessary in order to become a certified dental assistant. We started our uh, training program at our FQHC on the south side of Chicago. So far, we've had eight wonderful graduates, and our final class um, starts today. So we're really excited to get our class kicked off. Just to go through some of the um, background about the program, it is 32 hours of lecture, 70 hours of lab and hands-on training, and a 40-hour externship, which is done at a clinic. At the end of the program, you had to have successfully completed 170 hours and passed every exam, and then you'll get a certificate in dental assisting. Um, the program is designed to be completed in 12 weeks with additional time needed for your full-time externship. The way the program works is um, one night a week, the students come here at three o'clock and from three to five, they have a lecture. And then from five to seven, they come back down to the clinic as clinic is winding down and do the hands-on portion of the course. Tasha is the lead assistant who teaches the class. She is certified in coronal polishing, nitrous and sealants, and she has many years of dental experience. And so she's been a wonderful teacher for the program. We have an application process with an application website. You can. Google it, you can go online um, and fill out the application online and submit. And then we reach back out to you um, to conduct interviews and to see if you'll be a good fit for the program. So a little bit about dental assisting is, um, it's not just about you know holding a suction for a doctor or being in the room, but it's really about building that connection to the patient. A lot of times patients connect and see more of the dental assistant than they do with the dentist. And so we, you know, it's really important to be personable, um, have a desire to help others, and um, be able to think quick on your feet as you're undergoing, as the patients are undergoing some of these dental procedures and um, kind of taking charge of that appointment in terms of intake and walking the patient out. So a couple of questions for Tasha. Tasha, you've been with us for a couple of years now. Yes. So what encouraged you to be a dental assistant? What encouraged me to be a dental assistant? I needed something stable in my life, and I also just have the need and the want to talk to people and care for people. And I just, I just like helping out and just leaving people with a smile. Okay, so what do you think? Um, as you're training, as you're training some of these dental assistants um, that you've seen coming through our class, what are some things that you tell them as they're first starting out, maybe on the first class? that I know might be a little scary because I know when I first started, I was scared. I was like, oh my crap, like what am I getting myself into? <laughs> but if this is something that you really want to do and you really have like empathy in your heart and you're compassionate, then it's just going to always come natural to you. Just like, Great. And as you've been um, going on and getting more and more certified, um, what would you say are some of the things that bring you the most joy at your job? And what are some things that you would say have been the most challenging? What brings the most joy is patience overall. The patients bring the most joy. The most challenging maybe would just be working with different people and um how they might intake information. So like I just know that sometimes you have to have patience because everybody doesn't receive everything the same way. Yeah. And you you do so well with patients. And that's something to think about as an assistant is when, when somebody's coming to you for a healthcare appointment, a lot of times it's because they're in pain or there's something wrong. Right. So you have to have the patience to kind of try to explain things to them in different ways and try to get through to them. We um, make them feel safe to the point that they want to come back. They open up, they talk to us. Yeah. Like, and then you have to realize that some patients might have had a traumatic experience. So you have to be a little bit more patient with them, understanding, you know, feel comfortable. So, yeah. Great. So Mike Young is one of our recent graduates, um, and then he just started working for us after he finished the program, and he did a great job. So Mike, um, just a little bit of background. What were you doing before you started the program, and what encouraged you to, um, to start your certification process? Uh, before I started the program, I was cooking for about 12 years. Uh, it got a little tiring, and I want to actually do something to help people more than just cooking and feeding them. I want to like actually hands on to reach out to them. Uh, being what? in the dental, what motivated me to get to the dental program is to care for other people and a uh, different career change and a different challenge. I feel like this would be a challenge for me to overcome, and I have overcame. Okay. 
good. You've been doing phenomenally yeah. since you started, and we're so proud of you. Right. Um, as you continue on, what would you say as you were going through the program um, while you were still a student in the certification program? What were some of your most rewarding parts, and what were some of the biggest challenges? Uh, some of my most rewarding parts was to finally be able to help someone in a way I couldn't before. Like when you speak dental, we think it's just teeth. You no, know, it's actually the help of the entire body. It starts off from the mouth. But I like, I mean, I, how do I want to put it? I like. Uh, Right. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> and what were some challenges? Uh, the challenges were the terminology, as Todd stated, the terminology. But I mean, once you really understand the terminology and everything sets out, it's easy. It's like step by step. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you for going through the program and taking a chance on learning something new. And Tasha's always been such a phenomenal, she's the, the main teacher for the program. And it's been, it's been really rewarding watching everyone kind of grow in their roles. Um, so just to go back to the program and our specific program here at Miles Square, like we mentioned, it's a 12 week program that meets once a week. And every week you are given a lecture of information and then um, you are expected to study on your own at home. And then the next week you come back and the first thing you do is you take a quiz on what you learned the last week. So you do have to review a little bit at home and get familiar with the terminology. Um, and then every week that you pass the quiz, you move on to the next week and so on and so forth. And you don't start your externship till you've passed all of your lecture quizzes. Um, and we work with you and, and we obviously encourage you. And if you have any questions, you know, you reach out to anybody. Um, we've had students come in for extra help and extra um, assistance. Some of the stuff can be kind of challenging, um, but it is a phenomenal journey. And once you get your foot in the door in a career in healthcare, it can open so many more doors. Um, we're pleased that Mike is um, working on extra certification right now to do polishing and sealants, and we're hoping to get him nitro certified so that he can assist uh, the providers while they're working on children in special needs cases, which is a whole different level of rewarding care. Um, so we're excited to see him grow in that in that aspect as well. Um, and once you start as an assistant, um, really the sky's the limit. It's a good way to get, like I said, your foot in the door. I actually was a dental assistant, and if I did not work with a supportive dentist at the time, I wouldn't have been a dentist today. So I think it's really um, important to get your start in somewhere. And this 12-week certification program is a great way to do it. Um, I'm going to put my email up on the screen. And if anybody has any further questions about the program, um, you can reach out via email or um, contact the clinic and we can kind of help you with the process. All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs>welcome back. Um, I'm here with Latasha Tucker and one of our dental assistant graduates, Lizeth Gamero, and they are going to go through a day in the life of a dental assistant from bringing the patient back to what they do during the procedure to what they do when uh, walking the patient out and after the procedure's over. So take it away, dental assistants. All right. <laughs> All right. So first, we always walk to the door. We always call or greet our patient by their last name. Once they answer to their last name, we walk them to the back. Once they come in the back, we always let them know to make themselves comfortable, place their belongings in the chair, and have a seat. After that, once they're all nice and situated in the chair, we do our top three main things that we're supposed to do. Bib, number one, can't miss it. Second, blood pressure. And third, mouth rinse. After that, the doctor is ready to come on in. All right, so once the doctor comes in, before the doctor comes in, we always make sure that our patient is comfortable. We build a type of repertoire with them where we talk to them, like we might discuss our family, our kids, our jobs, or anything. Like we just build a type of reputation with them to make them feel comfortable. So let them know they can trust us. By that time, they'll probably, that the doctor might have already came in. They let them know what's gonna get done that day, what procedure, and then they can get started. So as that was, as I said, we're still staying with the patient. We never leave our patient alone. We let them know that we're here for them. And 
is going. While we are waiting, we do double check and make sure that everything that we're going to need for the procedure or whichever procedure is in the room. You never want to forget anything. <laughs> and then just to look, take it a little bit more further, we always explain the procedure that's going to happen with the patient. We let them know what to expect after they leave the visit, how long they might be numb, not to eat or drink anything. Just to always make sure they understand. If it's an extraction that's going to be done, then we always make sure they understand their post office structure. Always understand their prescription so they can get them feel like any pharmacy of their choice. After that, if there's something that they're not comfortable with, they'll just talk to the doctor to see if we're able to switch gears and we'll and we get started. And it's always about the patient. We always just want to make sure that our patient is comfortable, that they're being treated as me. And so the doctor steps in and starts doing the procedure. And one of the most important things that these ladies do really well is they keep, um, they do moisture control, right? So they're holding the suctions and um, making sure the patient's comfortable, making sure the doctor has what they need to get their work done and make sure um, that the procedure is gonna get good results. They are an important member of the team in making that happen. When the doctor is done with the procedure, um, the doctor seats the, seats the patient up and says, you know, thank you for coming. And um, the assistant takes away from mm -hmm. them by, by we let them know, like, once you leave today, you might be numb for another hour or so. So please be careful. Don't eat it or drink it. And if you do get a little hungry, try to do like a little smoothie or something. We don't want any accidents to happen where you bite and make a steak and bite your lip from your job because you are now. And then we also let them know just we already have scheduled them for their next appointment. They're aware of what the next procedure could be, whether it's going to be a six month recall or whether it's going to be done. We're all at an understanding. And I always ask the patient if they have any questions or concerns before they leave. After that, we give them a mantra just to make sure that everything has gone out of their mouth. After that, we lock the patient out. And then we the patient and after the patients walked out, um, if you can explain to us what do you do to get the room ready for the next patient? All right, so as we have to, we have to clean everything. We take down all our barriers. We take off the plastic covering off the chair. Everything that's on the tray that needs to go back to the lab to get clean and pump sterilized. We clean off our unit here, and then we take our cotton side wipes here to have a two-minute kill time. And we wipe everything down. If I happen to have a chart on my tray here with my syringe, I'm going to literally walk over here to my chart, going to flip off my my um, meal, I'm going to dump it in my chart. If there is a procedure that involves blood, okay, we're going to always run the lines, take off the the suction, turn them on, and make sure that we. Run the line just to make sure they are clean and there's no blood left. We all wipe our rooms and then we, once everything is nice and clean, we dress it back up. Okay, and anything that has blood or that is soiled in any body that's doing, we always put them in a biohazard box. That is a red with a container that has a blue gel that you step on and it opens up. After that, we make sure that all of our instruments that are that were used are also sprayed. Um, to get disinfected, and after that, the whole sterilization of instruments procedure starts. Perfect, you guys did great. Um, so that's basically a day in the life of the dental assistant. You heard it from two of the best dental assistants in Chicago. Um, they do such a fabulous job. And um, and they really touched on the main points, which is they build a relationship with the patient, they make the patient comfortable, and um, they do a lot with like helping the doctor during the procedure and sterilizing, and they're such an integral part of the team and part of the patient experience. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. Thank Bye. You. Bye.